Hello, all you luxurious, uh, molesters. Finally, I'm doing the review on the Galhorn, aka the best year one weapon. Like, th this is extremely good. It, it destroys mobs of enemies. It's like a long range dark drinker. Like, oh my, it, it's Galahorn! This is more of a review on the Iron Galahorn slash year three Galahorn. Because, uh, well, like, that's the one I'm reviewing, not year one Galahorn. Because I believe it might be the same or better. I don't know. But it definitely didn't have an, that much competition as it does because of the Exotic Swords, Outbreak Prime, and Safer Simulant. Um, I can't call this the best weapon in the game, but it's very close. It was definitely the best year one weapon in the game. Actually, Icebreaker kind of tied with it, but whatever. This can be better than Dark Drinker, depending on the situation. If it's long range or short range, but it's fucking Galahorn. I used Galahorn all of this weekend, mostly. Uh, I infused it up to 400, and I was actually, like, dumbfounded at how good it was. I shouldn't have been, actually, because I thought Year 3 Galahorn was going to be worse than Year 1 Galahorn. But I, I actually think it's the same, like, to be fair. And it was good in every activity I did. I like Outbreak Prime more than this, because it does a ton of damage, and it does close to Galahorn damage when it's a primary well, like, for bosses, that is, in the same amount of time. But, um, this was extremely effective. I was actually, I was generally surprised at how good this was. Definitely be using this in my loadouts more, because it's a beast. So, let's just talk about how it does in strikes, uh, the raid, Archon's Forge, PvP. Overall, you know, like, just how good it is. So, in strikes, this tears through groups of ads, kills bosses, like, ends them. Like, I'm not even kidding. If you have three Galahorns and, uh, or no, if you have all three people with Galahorns, right, and it's Solar Burn, and everyone has full Galahorn ammo, uh, the boss is dead. Like, I'm not even kidding. He will just die. Like, he's gonna go back into his spawn room and slit his wrists. Like, Seriously, this th gun is so good and effective. Like, this isn't an, an exaggeration. This, th it, it, it's just so damn good. On any uh tough thing from a range, basically, with a few shots, like you can basically kill everything except a boss with a few shots from this. I. I don't even know if this is better than Dark Drinker, but it definitely feels as powerful as a Dark Drinker. Like, you just feel powerful when you're using this. Like, Sleeper Simulant, and, like, Outbreak Prime, and, like, Icebreaker, and, like, all these other guns that are just, like, beasts. And you just feel so good using it. Because it's Galahorn! only thing that's bad about it for strikes is it doesn't have that much ammo. And for strikes, you're going to be needing a lot of ammo to take down everything. So, if this could have maybe 9 shots, then it would be perfect. Like, it would be a flawless weapon. Uh, but still, there is still the competition. So, I don't know if it would still be the best gun in the game. But, we'll, I mean, we'll have to see if we ever get nine shots in a Galahorn. Because that, oh my god, wow. Raid, it, for one, it kills Vosik, like, extremely fast. It kills Axis extremely fast, but Dark Thinker is still better. And Outbreak Prime is still better for Vosik, and probably Sleeper is better for Vosik. But, <laughs> Sleeper does the most damage out of all those, right? And it is the worst for ads out of all these. Galahorn, right? Can take down 
an entire group of ads and damage sig and do significant damage against captains while still like and you don't have to get close and it you can do all that stuff just like yeah I'd say Vosik and Dark Drinker are better for Axis, just because, like, Dark Drinker melts the boss, and, uh, the Outbreak Prime is just, it destroys the adds, like, can one, two burst shanks, and it's extremely good, so, yeah. Um, but, Galhorn is still worth using, like, I'd say this falls under the line of... There's better things to use, but it definitely is effective. Like, this is extremely good. This is probably, like, the second best thing in the raid to use for Vosik. Tied, er, uh, under, um, tied for, the two guns tied for first place, which are Outbreak Prime and Dark Drinker. And then Outbreak Prime and Dark Drinker are better for Axes. And Sleeper is better for Vosik, in a way. Kind of, but doing boss damage, but like, it just is good for the raid. Use it in the raid. Uh, in Archon's Forge, ads can't even come out of the freaking door. Like, <laughs> that's how good this gun is. You can just melt them. You can seriously just destroy them. In PvP, tracking missiles, check. Cluster missiles, or no, tracking, check. Cluster missiles, check. Fucking golden wolves on the gun, check. The it it's it's almost as effective as truth. Let's just say that. Um, yeah. Overall, in my opinion, this is better than Sleeper Simulant. Worse than Outbreak Prime and tied with Dark Drinker. That, that's how I'm going to put this in the final order, um, or in the final order of these four guns when I was comparing them. This goes, Outbreak Prime is the best, I believe. Um, Gallahorn and Sleeper, or no, Gallahorn and Dark Drinker are tied for second, and third is Sleeper Simulant. None of them are bad guns. None of them. Not one. Not a single one of these guns is bad. But, I think, um, I think that you should use Outbreak Prime more than Gellhorn. But that's just my opinion, and no one actually cares about my opinion. Uh, so yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Leave a like. And yeah, bye.